Hello, I'm Angus Dalgleish. I'm a professor of oncology at the University of London based at St George's. And I'm here to tell you about some of the alternative treatments we have developed by the funding from the charity ICVI. Recently there's been much interest and speculation in the press and media about the role of cannabinoids in the management of cancer. Well, this has been around for a long, long time. Cannabinoids have been used for palliative care to reduce sickness, increase appetite and reduce weight loss. But more recently we're interested as to whether there is any role in the actual treatment of cancer. There have been many anecdotes reported out there of patients who have only had a good response when they've gone on to a cannabis oil preparation, but there are many, many people who've tried it without benefit. Our interest is to see what is going on within this cannabis oil. Well, there are many, many different components, over a hundred, but only two would appear at the current time to be important. One's THC, which gives you the high if you smoke, and the CBD, which has no side effects whatsoever, a strong anti-inflammatory activity and would appear to have some of the anti-cancer activity. Now our own research has shown that surprisingly that when you give this before radiotherapy somebody takes or in this case in the preclinical models they have the CBD before radiotherapy they have much better responses to the radiotherapy than would be expected and more importantly the surrounding tissues are not damaged which is a great limitation of radiotherapy. Now this has now already been extrapolated to clinical trials and there is evidence that this is the case in humans where patients on CBD seem to have a much better response to gliomas, brain cancer, to the radiotherapy. Now the other thing that we've looked at is what is the effect of the cannabinoids on cancer cell lines, ones which are immortalized and will live forever. And we use these models to add in chemotherapy agents and if they die we know those chemotherapy agents are actually active. So we add in all these cannabinoids in and nothing happens until you withdraw them. And when you withdraw them, they all start dying, just like you've given them chemotherapy. And my only explanation for this is they've gone into a kind of cold turkey. They've rapidly become addicted to it, and then it's been taken away from them, so they go into a cold turkey and start dying. So the obvious message from this is in the clinic, we go in intermittently, few days on, few days off few days on, few days off, and one of my colleagues has already started treating his cancer patients with this schedule as opposed to continuously and says he confirms that we see, what we see in the laboratory appears to be a benefit too, and this will be the template and basis of all our clinical trials with these agents in the future. I would just like to point out that without the support of the charity ICVI, I would never have had the freedom to embrace so many different approaches to cancer and have the effect and benefit in the clinical trials that we have had to date. And I must express my eternal gratitude for all the support that the ICVI has given me and my team.